Steady Cool here. Um, I've got a few. Well, this is the second video I promised you guys like a while back. Uh, this video contains a few network optimizations and some tips for Black Ops 3 to make it run better so you don't have input lag and shit. So, we're gonna start off with a trick I learned two years ago that just helps with any sort of game, just helps reduce your overall latency in the game. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to regedit, R E G E D I T, open that up. You're gonna go. Let me scroll all the way up here. Sorry. I'm gonna go to HE Current Machine. Wait. Let me double check that for you guys. Sorry, I'm new to this thing. Okay, so it's gonna be HK uh, HK Local Machine. Yeah. Then System. Then you're gonna go to current control set, go services, I'm going to go TCP IP, yeah, that's all the way down there, uh, where is that, oh, that went fast, yes, TCP IP, parameters, and interfaces, now within these folders you're going to, well yeah, these folders, yeah, you're going to go look for uh, one of them that has your IP address in. It should look something like this. See? It's one of, with the most things in. There we go. Now in this one, you're going to create the new D word. I already made it. You're going to say right click, new, D word. Spell it TCP ACK frequency. And you're going to make right click it, modify, and you're going to give it a hexadecimal value of 1. You see, this helps with um, making sure that your computer uh, refreshes your internet more frequently from what I can understand but it helps, it's superstitious but it really does help okay then the second one I'm not going to be able to show you but I'm going to leave a link in the description I'm going to go to HQ local machine so all the way up there again, let's drag it up um, so then you're going to go into software this time and go into Microsoft then you're going to look for a folder called MSMQ. I think this MSMQ, I don't have subfolders for it, but you're going to find a parameter subfolder. And within that subfolder, you're going to, going to make uh, another D word with um, the name TCP Nodelay. I'll put it in the description of how to spell it and everything, and also give it the hexadecimal value of 1. Okay, so that's out of the way. That's just some network optimizations to make your PC in general have better internet. It's it's weird. Just try it. Now, second of all, is this amazing app. And now this is somewhat to do with Thiddy's root attacks. I'm just gonna call you out there, Thiddy. It's just a joke. Don't worry. But this has made an amazing difference in how games feel and how the heat ridges in games, and it has helped so much with other issues concerning lag. And that limiter, I'm gonna post a link to where you can download it is an app that allows you to limit your bandwidth for applications or your entire PC. Now if you're sharing a line with a friend for example and you're on good good grounds you can say hey let's split the line and you can limit both of your connections to half of the line making it easy so that if one PC lags the other one won't lag and it's it's quite amazing. And if you know that for example this damn Steam client bootstrapper or web helper is making you lag in a game you can temporarily limit it so it won't make you lag anymore. That's cool, that's useful, that's nice and everything. But now we're going to come to how it helps in COD and other games in general. Now you see for all other CODs, pre-Black Ops 3 and after Modern Warfare 3, you didn't have dedicated servers, which meant you had laggy uh, experiences while playing online. Now, if you, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description as well for a YouTuber known as Oven Baked Muffin. He does reviews on lag compensation of God and everything and explains how everything works perfectly. So I'm not going to go too much into detail. But pretty much, God assumes that your upload is the same as your download. Now, if you don't have the same upload as download, which most, most South Africans don't have, you're going to have hit inconsistency because according to the code you're not sending the right data in and blah 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 blah. Just go check the video and he's got evidence of how this improves your actual hit rate. So what you're going to do is you're going to find out what your upload is, right? You're just going to go to www. Uh, speed test, right? Uh, speed test net. 
you just quickly going to run a quick speed test. Now everybody knows how to do that, so I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, this is a full make up and down line, so it will actually just look unfair. But in general, you're going to have like a 48 kilobytes upload. Now I've tested with Black Ops 2, I've limited it up to 14 kilobytes up and down, and I had no lag whatsoever. So you can limit your game to 14 kilobytes up and down if you have to limit it that little. But otherwise, like I did in Black Ops 3, I limited it to 40 kilobytes because, like the line I have uh, somewhere else, it's got uh, 48 kilobytes upload. You always want to have it a little bit less than your actual maximum, so there's no fluctuation. Now you see by uh, what you're going to do is you're going to right click, you're going to say add rule, and you're just going to say rule type limit, direction both, per type just say none, and limit it to whatever you want, whatever your line supports. Now if you're two people on a line you're going to maybe want to limit your PCs firstly to 20 kilobytes upload each and then the games to 15 kilobytes upload and download each. Just play around with that, I can't help with that. If you need help with it, just steam me or something. I'll see what I can do to help you out. But yeah, because we're still setting this up since the private matches are going to be played on player hosted servers, so you're still going to have that issue of not proper hit rage as there's no dedicated servers. But thank goodness Black Ops 3 has dedicated servers for pubs and the hit rage is amazing, right? So yeah, that's just some tips and tricks. I do it for Cisco as well, but that's because for some odd reason my Cisco lags if I don't. Uh, don't ask questions, I really don't know why. And once again, yeah, if you have anything that's using up your line when you don't want it to, or if you want to play while downloading, this is the perfect app to use. You limit your app that's downloading to a certain amount, and then what you actually playing to another amount, and then you won't have any issues after add it. You share you have some latency, that's because your line is actually busy doing more than one thing at a time. That's why people on your Wi-Fi also give you shit and shit. But yeah, that's this is a pretty cool application. So yeah, those are my two network tips that just help a shitload for Hitridge and things. And like I said, Oven Baked uh, Muffin has a full review of why this works and how this works. So I'm going to put the link in the description. You can go watch the videos. Now lastly, uh, we're going to do... I'm going to show you. Everybody's complaining about Black Ops 3 having issues. Right. Now, this is bothering me because I have no issues whatsoever. But I have this tendency when playing online games especially competitively where you don't want to like do badly or anything I run my game at quite low settings so I can see better sorry let this epic sound just finish by the way I, I alt enter to do make it full screen without any issues okay now you see like I said lots of people are complaining that they've got input lag and bad frame rates and everything but really if you want to look at play a game for HP to play single player. Multiplayer, you're competitive, you get angry if people kill you or you have flag comp, don't don't get mad if you don't want to set your graphics slower. That's your own shit. So I'm just gonna show you my settings and I play perfectly with this, no issues whatsoever. No input lag. It's just brilliant. So what you're gonna do is you play go graphics, you're gonna put display mode to full screen, the monitor I don't know it should be one most likely depending on if how many screens you are and which one's your main monitor. Screen resolution, refresh rate, I render resolution 100% but lots of people say they have to put theirs lower to get the better um, frame rate and everything. So the display game I just put it to HCTV because I was interested in what that meant the view that's your own story max frames per second now, i advise putting your max frames per second just a bit higher than the actual refresh rate of your screen this allows that there's no fluctuation in your actual refresh rate happening so if you were to dip to 65 frames per second you won't notice it because your refresh rate is only 60. i understand and never ever in any game whatsoever put sync every frame on this is i'll say that time and time again it's just a bad idea if you want to put draw fps on then you can see what your frame rate is uh, manning at um, now advanced, now I put a 970 so I'm going to go high, low, 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 dynamic shadows must be off, subsurface scattering off, ordering independent transparency none, volume that automatically disables, anti-aliasing none, aim exclusion disabled, motion blur disabled. Now if you have a maybe lower end piece or something, texture quality, maybe you should put that to medium lower as, or as well. And yeah, that's that. So now, no, 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 yeah, whatever. Uh, now, I'm going to show you that even on these so called low settings, you can see the low, I'm putting in quotation marks in my hand right now. The game seems amazing. I mean, look at that background. I'm just going to start up a custom game. Doesn't matter which map. I've got 
brilliant frames per second. Same to there like I limited it, no problems whatsoever. And uh, yeah. Um like I said I have no issues mouse wise where people have complained that I've got no frame rate issues. This is just the loading screen giving me that frame rate at the top right. Search and destroy. Does this look ugly? I don't know. I don't know if I'm used to bad graphics or something because I've never ran a multiplayer game with full graphics. It's just eliminate the objectives. Bomb acquired. 